The question is the motion be agreed to. Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It was Hubert Humphrey, the former Vice President of the United States, who said that the moral test of a government is how it treats those in the dawn of life, how it treats those in the twilight of life, and how it treats those in the shadows of life, the sick and the needy. Any New Zealander who read on Sunday the story of the boarding houses of New Zealand and asked themselves the question, is the government of today meeting the moral test of looking after those in the dawn of life, the twilight of life and the shadows of life, they would have seen a massive failure. <coughs> Julia Alatina is 18 months old. She lives, to describe it as it is in the article, on a, in a shoebox-sized room on a foam mattress. She lives there with flea bites. She lives there with her whole family, wondering whether they will be able to get through the night, wondering if they will avoid the violence that is around her. And a psychologist said this about Julia's life. Living this way really denigrates the dignity of a person. It touches everything their health, psychology, education and employment. When you sleep in a room infested with cockroaches and, and fleas, surrounded by parties and fights each night, how can you be in the right mind frame for school the next moon morning? Where's the space even to do your homework? Mr Speaker, that is the reality of life for an 18-month-old. Is that the dignity that we want to offer New Zealanders today in a country that is relatively wealthy, a country that has prosperity. And there is a government today who says that is acceptable. And when that question was put to Bill English today, when his moral leadership was tested today by Andrew Little about what should happen for Julia Alatina, he said it's the Auckland Council's fault. That's what he said today. Mr Speaker, that is not leadership. If he's not ready to lead on that, move over. Because Andrew Little is ready to lead on that and the Labour Party is ready to lead on that. Because David Bennett thinks it's more important that he gets a tax cut than it is that Julia Alatini gets a safe place to live. That is the moral code of David Bennett and the National Party. That it's OK for New Zealanders to live in squalid conditions while he gets a tax cut. Mr Speaker, once upon a time the National Party told us that they were ambitious for New Zealand. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm ambitious for every New Zealander to live a life of dignity, a life with security and a life with hope. And right now today, tens of thousands of New Zealanders are living without those three things. And if we go to any suburb in Auckland at the moment, we will see homeless people, we will see people in boarding houses living exactly those kinds of lives that I have just been describing. What we are ambitious for on this side of the House, Mr Speaker, is that every New Zealander gets security and opportunity. It won't happen with the tired, out-of-touch National Party. We need a fresh approach that says, after nine years of poor moral leadership, it is time for this country to take a new path. And that is one where we say collectively, we understand that it is our job as leaders in New Zealand to give every child the same shot at success that we would wish for our children and our grandchildren. The National Party cannot stand up in this House today and say that Julia Alatina is getting that kind of shot at success. A Labour government, Mr Speaker, will prioritise investment in quality housing, in health care that everybody can access, and an education system that gives Julia that chance. We will prioritise that over tax cuts for wealthy New Zealanders. That actually, Mr Speaker, is what this election will fundamentally be about, the moral test of a government. I am proud that the Labour Party know where we stand when it comes to providing lives 
of dignity, security and hope. The National Party have failed Julia Alatina. It's time for a change of government. The Honourable Jackie Dean. Mr Speaker, I want to...